Hello, and welcome back to the Gaming Guild. Uh, Alex here with day six of Seven Days to Die. Uh, just waiting for the trader, as usual. Uh, we did a nighttime quest to uh, a trucking company, something like that. Just a couple warehouses. This sound like a zombie. Very zombie sounding uh, bush. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, been doing pretty good on the tier 2 missions now. I think just that infested one was a little uh, difficult for us. Let's see. Can we sell those? Peace. Here you go, now I can friend. turn this in. Whatever you need, just say the word. I don't want anything. Why is everything so bad? Um, I guess I'll take the pipe bombs. I don't really use them. Let's see. Uh, clear zombies pretty close by. Um, store power 8 kilometers away. This map is only 10 kilometers wide. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do the clear zombies, really and then we'll come and pick up friend, the buried supplies after that. Asking. I can't thank you enough, friend. So let's see. Next job is over there, but I want to head back to our gas station. Um, I have a couple skill points to spend. Throw another one into Mark's men. Oh, probably because I have the glasses on that give me an extra agility. So it thinks I have enough to buy this. Now let's go ahead and get a little bit more sneak attack damage. A little bit more stealth. And let's make light armor a little bit better. Uh, my goal for armor is to eventually have a full set of military gear just because it's the best light armor there is. Just an extra 50% more sneak attack damage now. Thanks to that other point into the skill. Start by just dropping everything, then I see what's left. Some food. We have portabytes, machete parts, uh, pipe bombs, scope, more rotten meat. Let's drink some red tea. Not too many. So, my machine gun ammo, the uh, 7.62, uh, stacks up to 150, so I'll hold on to 100 for now. That way, if I find up to 50 more, I can uh, carry it without adding another uh, section to my uh, inventory. Uh, 
but my focus is going to be continuing to use my uh, bow for combat. Day six, so I should focus on uh, getting a base up and running. But again, I'd still really like to get a tier two gun of some kind. The bow is going to carry me a long ways, uh, but the speed at taking down an entire horde is just not going to be there. So, reset the level. Looks like it wants me to go in through that window. Check the mailbox. Man, my good luck at finding eggs. Watch, we'll do a multiplayer game at some point, and I won't be able to find any eggs to be making bacon and eggs. What are you doing, buddy? Okay. Locked rooms. He was in the ceiling. toilet pistol. I like some of the new artwork they have. Makes me think of uh, Dark Souls. This looks like a trap. Oh, just a backpack. With cornmeal. It was a trap.
What is he, a soccer player? Gets hit and then five seconds later flails around, falls to the ground. Lots of locked doors in here. I feel like there's going to be dogs. Honey. So I don't know if these actually have anything in them. I think they're just decoration. They look like, you know, beehives, but that's kind of hard to program in. Lots of wood at least. Some more honey. Hey, first. That guy's back.
gonna be? And no toilet pistol. Art of mining. Small chance to mine rare gems. That's nice. Repair these boots. Modify them with that. Let's switch this out. So the mod that I put on uh, just makes it so that I can fall from even higher without taking damage. Uh, so now I can fall pretty far um, and be okay. Which is nice if I'm getting chased and, and the only way out is to jump off a building. Um, I feel like I can do that now. Alright, that looks like everything. back to the trader. I'll grab that buried supplies um, mission that he has, but and then I want to focus on getting a base. Take some ammo. Uh, Can you supplies. help me with my problem? Thank you. I bet you wouldn't do this for just anyone in the wasteland. Sell that. Sell that. Sell the pipe pistol. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, it's the opposite end. You know what? Let's do it. I technically have all of day seven to uh, work on getting a base. Bird nest.
nice stormy weather blowing in with this. I don't have a shovel. I'm just gonna... I'm up to level four stone coots. Okay. Modify, pull this off. Swap you, swap you. Modify, put this on. Scrap you. Okay. This time I'm just going to get the top layer, that way I can respond a little bit better to zombies. Hey, there it is. Mod schematic knives that I'm not going to use. Pretty good turnout. Looks like six of them. As soon as I'm done, the storm clears.
Come speak. It must be my lucky day. Thank you. And here you go. Oof. I think I'm going to go with the magazine extender just because everything else is pretty bad. Iron leg armor, I would just sell back. Same with iron sledgehammer. The weapon flashlight mod schematic is kind of nice. Um, I mean, it teaches me this the mod, how to craft it. But I already have the headlight one, so I don't really want one for the weapon as well. So I think I'll just take this magazine extender. Um, I don't really want to take anything else. Yeah, this is good. Um, you have a great day now. I'll try. So, head to the gas station. Now I gotta think, where do I want to take over to make my base? I kinda like this still. It's pretty close to the trader. It is big though, so it's hard to defend. I'll have zombies kind of on all sides and it's a takes a little bit to clear out I could just make a fortification out here in the open and just stand on it and you know deal with the zombies as they come just because it does take a while for them to break down blocks and such. I can throw this back onto here. That'll just give me a little bit more block damage. Drink something. I'll take one of these. All right, so that one place I was looking at is right here. Not too big. This seems pretty big. Um, I'm trying to remember, was there anything in town that stood out? There's the fire station. 
I was pretty close to the trader. Strip club. It's like a four skull area, so I don't really want to do that. Let's head back this way. And the mortician's house looked interesting, but it's even less defensible than that other house. station. That's oh, just so big. for this house over here. It's not too far away from the gas station to be moving everything over. So that's nice. Hey look, an egg. be nice if this was a clear zombies mission because then we could see where all the zombies were the Taylor Manor just want to make sure I'm not gonna get attacked from behind here. Um, it might seem like this is just, you know, another house, uh, not too complicated, uh, but there's a basement level to this um, that's like normal at first and then it gets complicated right. so this house intends you to first enter through here uh, it's a death trap to go down so instead you have to try to go up
now. I'm gonna go ahead and make a land claim block. Now what this is gonna do, it's not going to despawn any zombies. Uh, they're already here. Nothing I can do about that. But it'll keep new zombies from spawning in. Um, and hopefully the ones that are already in the house should be the like quieter daytime zombies. So I'm just gonna set this up here. Now land claim block uh, goes between uh, or like goes the entire vertical distance of the world. Um, so I don't have to worry about any like basement levels or anything. It's all covered. Uh, it's just a matter of 30 blocks away from the land claim, which I think should encompass all of the fenced in area. Now that I'm inside, my fate is sealed. Because this is not an easy area. Okay, that looks safe. Looked safe, didn't mean it was safe. Some bookshelves in here. I don't need to get too crazy about looting. Uh, just because if I'm going to make this my base, I'll have plenty of time to loot later. Um, also, during the uh, Blood Moon, the zombies should spawn outside of the walls. So I just have to focus on defending. I don't have to worry about them showing up inside the house and uh, causing problems. Nobody in here, huh? So that's... Alright, I think they're just uh, through the wall. It kind of sounded above me. I don't think so. It's weird that they all aggroed like that. Search out here later. I'm gonna start getting downstairs before it gets dark. Just in case some of them get nighttime powerful. So 
So those are all just dead bodies. I feel like there's got to be one in here. Okay, I'll come back for the safe later. Back for all this later. Ferals are not fun. I think that's what a feral refers to. So here's the difference between a, a tier 2 and a tier 3. This whole extra section here. There's Luckily I can jump pretty well so I think I can get back out of here. You know, there's more in here. That's kind of the best way to uh, pull an entire room. Hopefully pull an entire room. So there's no ground above me. Anybody back here? I feel like there is. Huh, there was. Okay. I'm gonna have this out for a minute. Um 
So you might have seen as I was driving by, there's a, uh, you know, that door there. I'm not going to open it. If I absolutely had to someday, sure, I'll uh, use it to escape this place. But until then, I don't want to have that open and have it as a way of zombies getting in. sitting here I'm keeping an eye on that tunnel because there's a slight possibility that a dog's pathfinding ability is so good that he could find a way to break in through a wall upstairs and run all the way downstairs around everything and come running down that tunnel towards me. That sounds a good sound. That, uh, it's kind of a, like an insect noise. Uh, usually that sound indicates that new zombies are hunting me. Got a nice upgrade. So the weighted head mod isn't doing anything specific, it's just helping my overall block damage. The uh, bunker buster actually helps me break through iron things, so actually would help break through this a lot faster. Back up here. Okay, the dog is still up. Sounds like they're at the front door. I kind of, uh, I don't know if spooked or, uh, Caught by surprise was a is an accurate way of saying it. Um, oh, he came in through this door. Um, <laughs> but I just started shooting before I actually had my sights on him. Dogs scare me that much. What? Come on. 
Oh. See, their pathfinding is smart. Try that again. Where did all of these dogs come from? <sighs> so, uh, you know how sometimes uh, they'll just suddenly spawn a horde of zombies just running? Uh, that can also happen with dogs. I've only ever seen it twice. And this is one of those times um, where basically uh, a pack of dogs just spawns in and since dogs are able to track you from Jesus from much further away uh, the usually the whole pack is just on you and it's uh, a nightmare. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this uh, zombie dog meat. I'll find something. He led me to a bird nest. How nice of him. Now, because of my jumping skills, the bird nest. Uh, I can come up to these walls and just go like so. Get in. Uh, now while zombies can't do that, except for those shrieking, jumping ones, uh, zombies can jump on top of each other, um, so it won't take very long during a blood moon for them to get in here. So I'm going to be spending most of day seven uh, going through fixing that doorway and lining this entire uh, top level with blocks. Uh, just to try to keep the zombies from getting in while I do my best to knock them all down. Let's see.
I still have that land claim block kind of protecting this area. to make a new bedroll. And I'll put that just down here for now. Okay. Need food in here. So, I'm going to start making some storage chests. So, these are just going to be my general storage. Um, I'm going to kind of have like pods. Um, so, general storage, let's go. At least two more. And then two more. So, I'm going to go. Food and water, and then ammo and metal coal. Ammo. I'm going to do actual ammo and weapons in this one where over here I'm going to have parts and stuff to make ammunition which are definitely different things um, I want one for mods stuff. Food. Liquids. Hey, you're gonna scuff that. Jerk. Why 
Alright, so... I'm going to start driving back, uh, pick up a load of stuff, bring it over. Uh, I'm probably going to run out of time in this episode, so uh, it will be a nice transition into the next episode with me still doing this. Uh, yeah, if uh, you don't want to watch the you know, next hour and ten minutes of the day uh, going towards moving stuff over, uh, feel free to just go to the next video. Aw, they're growing. So cute. If I was traveling a longer distance, I'd probably uh, load up my bike inventory, um, bring it all the way over in, you know, shorter trips, or not shorter trips, uh, fewer trips. No, right now it doesn't matter to me too much if I take one extra trip by the end of it. Guns. Mods. Stuff to make bullets. stuff to make liquid. Stuff for food. I'll organize these better later. That's about going to do it for this episode. Uh, tomorrow is going to be the Blood Moon at the end of the day. So that's going to be exciting and kind of be the end of the week. Um, as far as seven days to die, I did die within the seven days. So I guess that's failed for this time, but I'm still going to try to survive the Blood Moon. So hope you all enjoy the video. Um, see you tomorrow and join me on the next adventure. Bye-bye.